Wednesday. Wednesday of Holy Week is seemingly obscure. Jesus entered the city on Sunday to fanfare and worship. Monday, he cleared the temple with a whip and righteous indignation. Tuesday, we talked about him being anointed for burial with expensive oils. But today, Wednesday, the tension of each day has been building and the religious leaders are not happy. Wednesday may have been the day that Judas planned his betrayal of Jesus. We don't know much about Judas. The Bible tells us very little about him compared to other disciples. But we see a bit of his heart in the Gospel of John chapter 12. Mary was anointing Jesus at Bethany and Judas was the one who questioned the expense of the oil used. He indignantly asked, why wasn't this fragrant oil sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? John writes kind of sarcastically and says, he didn't say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He was in charge of the money bag and would steal part of what was in it. Judas had a reputation among the other disciples for not being very reputable. Yet, he was the group's treasurer. I find that a bit ironic. His name, Judas Iscariot, indicated that he was probably from a town called Kerioth in the kingdom of Judea. Still, a number of scholars believe that the word Iscariot is a corruption of the Latin word Sicarius, meaning dagger man. According to the scholars who hold this opinion, Judas may have been a member of the Sicarii, a group of radical Jews, some of who committed some of the acts of terrorism by assassinating people in public places with long knives hidden under their cloaks. Luke chapter 22 tells us about Judas betraying Jesus, but only briefly. Luke says, the festival of unleavened bread called Passover was drawing near. The chief priests and the scribes were looking for a way to put him, Jesus, to death because they were afraid of the people. Then Satan entered Judas called Iscariot, who was numbered among the 12. He went away and discussed with the chief priests and temple police how he could hand Jesus over to them. They were glad and agreed to give Judas silver. So he accepted the offer and started looking for a good opportunity to betray Jesus to them when the crowd was not present. Judas, the lesser known corrupt disciple. He had witnessed miracles that Jesus did he had gone out two by two and seen the Spirit of God work through him and the other disciples. He was called by Jesus, anointed for service with Jesus, welcomed into the inner circle of friends by Jesus, and yet he wasn't transformed. Pastor Jason talked several weeks ago about how people abandon their faith because God doesn't meet their demands and expectations. Perhaps. Judas had an assumption of who God should be, and Jesus didn't meet those expectations. Regardless of what he had seen and experienced, Satan entered Judas, and he betrayed his friend for 30 pieces of silver. Wednesday, the day Judas set in motion the events that would happen during and after the Last Supper tomorrow.